G'day, I'm Ray Heron. This is a GoPro Hero 12. And if you like to film your rides and chat about what's going on while you're riding, this could change your life. All right, GoPro Hero 12, literally just been released. Brand new camera, although to be honest, it's it's quite similar to the previous one, the Hero 11. Shares the same form factor, has a lot of the same uh, features and specs. Um, can do eight times slow-mo at 2.7K, 240p. Uh, can go up to 5.3K at 60p. Uh, if those numbers don't mean much to you, stick with us, we'll get there in the end. It's got the same sensor and same processor as the previous camera. One feature that it does have is the ability to connect to things via Bluetooth. And when I say connect to things, things like your AirPods. Now these have a microphone in them, so I could pair my earpods to the camera and I've essentially got a wireless mic. How cool is that? However, that's not the coolest thing. This is my Arai XD4, and on the side of it you'll see I have a Cardo PackTalk Edge. What I can do is pair the second channel to the camera and suddenly, I don't need to have a second microphone in my helmet. I don't have to have bulky cables to attach to my helmet. I don't have to even run a Bluetooth, uh, sorry, a microphone adapter for the GoPro, like motor vloggers have had to for years. Let's try it out. I'm going to start by putting my helmet on. That's a great place to start. Now, with the GoPro on, I'm going to turn on my Cardo. I'm going to go into the menu of the GoPro. I'm going to go Pair Device. Now I'm going to push and hold the phone pairing button on my Cardo. Phone pairing, push it again. GPS pairing. Pack Talk Edge Radio, that's the name of my Cardo. GPS is now connected. Right. Let's go back to the front screen of the GoPro. Hit record. Hello, you're now hearing me, not through this microphone down here on that camera, but you're hearing me through the internal microphone on my helmet. And the way I can show you that is if I put the camera there and walk away, I'm still crystal clear. Hello, how you doing? I'm now on the other side of my office talking to you at a normal volume through Bluetooth via the Cardo PackTalk Edge. How wicked is that? That's a game changer. Let's go and try it out. Okay, disclosure. I have a fair bit to get through. <laughs> it got dark between uh, recording the intro of this video and now when I am out actually riding and testing the Bluetooth microphone, which means I have swapped helmets. I'm no longer running the Arai XD4. I'm wearing the Arrow Commander doesn't have the pack talk edge on it it has the pack talk neo so what i did is i removed the pairing for the pack talk edge repaired the pack talk neo and in the process i learned a thing or two about this uh bluetooth pairing mode later in the video i'm going to talk about the fact that uh, gopro you ha have this feature where the gopro is off you hit the record button and it turns itself on and instantly starts recording that doesn't work with the Bluetooth Cardo microphone because the camera has to turn on, start recording and peer to the Bluetooth mic. It needs to peer to the Bluetooth mic before it starts recording, otherwise it uses the internal mic and you can't hear yourself. So turn the camera on, don't use the auto on function, hit record once it's peered to your Bluetooth mic and you'll be fine. Um, more disclosure, I did not get paid i am not being paid and i'm not being influenced to create this video i went out today and i spent 749 dollars 99 of my own money on the gopro hero 12 which i have on the left hand bar of my bike right now and i also spent about 40 dollars on an sd card make sure you get a nice quick sd card otherwise you're um not going to be able to record in the 4 or 5.2k uh, so GoPro I did approach they never responded I approached 
the New Zealand distributor of GoPro, they also never responded, but I said, hey, look, I want to create this content. Can you give me a camera? That's what I said. They didn't respond. I also contacted uh, Cardo Systems head office and Cardo Systems New Zealand. Cardo Systems did respond. They said, however, it's not really something we want to do. It's great if you want to do it, and it's great if it works, but we're not going to pay you to do it. Not in those exact words. That's, that's paraphrasing. So that is the full disclosure out of the way. I am currently riding. We're in Arrow, wearing my Arrow Commander helmet, Pack Talk Neo, um, paired to the GoPro on my left hand bars. I've also got the Insta360 One RS on my right hand bars, which is a 360 uh, view, so you can see me, you can see the front, you can see the GoPro. And we are paired using the Bluetooth. Uh, so the camera itself in this mode actually has two audio feeds. It has an internal microphone, which it is recording essentially wind noise. Not much can contend with uh, the wind on a motorbike. And it has the Bluetooth feed from the Cardo. I found also, while my phone was paired with the Cardo in pairing mode one, or phone, uh, the pair on pairing mode two using the second channel, the GPS channel on the Cardo, was temperamental at best to the GoPro. It worked most of the time. Sometimes it was choppy and horrible. Sometimes it didn't work at all. So there you go. That is it. However, for, uh, previously, you had to have a, a GoPro on the chin of your helmet. You had to have a coil. You had to, a coil of cable, that is. You had to have the GoPro branded USB-C mic adapter and you had to have another microphone in your helmet and given I already run Cardos I already have a mic in my helmet why can't I use that so previously instead of using that bulky design and actually there's a, a really good video by Colorment Small Bike Stuff which I'll link right here now um, he goes through his helmet uh, setup and it's really tidy uh, I was never able to get it set up that tidy uh, and it irritated me so what I used to do was pair my Cardo to my phone, hit record on the memo recorder on my phone, and I'd have to put it in flight mode as well, because if I ever got a phone call or a text while I was doing it, it would just cut out. But that was uh, essentially how I used to do it, and possibly how I will continue doing it, depending on how uh, the system goes. Does it get better? Does it stay stable? Anything like that. Uh, Cardo themselves have also come out with a feature in the last month or two with the latest update, that you can hit record in the app and record the entire conversation of everyone on your DMC2 channel. I don't know how this is uh, this setup I'm doing now with the Bluetooth to the GoPro. I don't know how it's going to work when you're also having a conversation via DMC2. But if you hit record on DMC on the app, you're going to get your audio and you're going to get uh, your mates talking to you and you can sync it up later, I suppose. But if you're a motorcycle content creator and you don't mind turning your phone off while you record a video or you're in the middle of nowhere, I suppose we should be turning our phones off because we want to enjoy the ride. This is a good solution. This works. I'm sorry that the picture's terrible. It's dark and you can't see an awful lot. I'm just doing some aimless riding around Upper Hutt to test out the system because my previous recording was substandard and uh, didn't work as well as I had hoped. Hopefully this works. I'm going to go edit this video and I'm going to um, upload it and hopefully you like it. And I tell you what, this video has cost me the best part of $800 today. So please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment, leave a comment below. Do leave a comment, let me know. If you like this system, if you think it will work for you, I realize it's expensive, $750 for the GoPro, 40 bucks minimum for the card, and then uh, you've got the cost of the pack talk on top of that if you don't already have one. But I imagine this would work perfectly fine with the Bluetooth connection on a pack talk Neo, pack talk, uh, sorry, uh, Freecom X2, X4, um, and the Spirit as well. I don't have currently have any of those on a helmet, otherwise I would try it out for you, but um, 
this works. This is exciting. This is cool. Um, please hit that like button. Please like my video because it's cost me a lot of money. Uh, don't tell my wife. Right. We've tested it. I'm going home to edit it. And I'm going to roll the outro that I recorded before when I thought the first video worked. Here we go. All right, we're home. We're back in the garage. And um, I think that went really well. I think that's an awesome feature, as I've probably said numerous, numerous times by now. Um, a couple of other features about this camera that I really like is that you still have the, um, the standard GoPro uh, little tab bits that you put into a mount. Um, but what you've also got in the middle here is a threaded screw, which is your standard tripod mount. Uh, which is, it means I can use it with the screw base that I've got for the Insta360, which lives on my um, handlebars. I can use it with a tripod. I can use it with so much other stuff. And one more feature that I used to use all the time with the GoPro Hero 9, they've retained it for the 12 and everyone in between, is this, and I forget what they call it, but it's like a one-touch on button. Essentially, the, the go button, the record button, um, you can set it so you push that while the camera's off, it turns on, starts recording, and then when you, turn, when you hit that button again, it, turns, it stops recording and turns off again, which is spot on. I use it all the time. GoPro Hero 12. This might be my favorite camera. As I said, I'm going to give you a full rundown on all the specs, features, and uh, all the other guff in a future video. But I uh, really wanted to show you that feature first. Um, if you want to know more, MotoNZ.com is the website. Uh, this video that you're watching has cost me 750 bucks today. Uh, actually, 780 including the SD card. So I would really like it if you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Um, and even better, leave a comment. Even just chur, watch the video, loved it. Or, you know, whatever. In fact, if you watch to this point in the video... Put 55 in the comment box. I'll know. I'll know that you watched the whole way through the video. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching, um, and, and we'll see you out on the road sometime. Hooray.